I've been making charcoal since I was a boy in many different contraptions, but I only recently came across these cone kilns. Cone kilns are interesting because they are so simple, but do they work? This is my version that I thought you might like to see in action. I began by trying different ways to make the most of a square of paper. The cone could come to a point, but it, it also needs to stand up, so I left the end out. And it looked okay, so I cut the same shape out of 2mm steel. A steeper, more pointy cone might work better, but makes less efficient use of the material, so a compromise is needed. So far so good, I tapped the sides together and then rather crudely welded the seams together too. This is just an experiment, so no harm if it doesn't really work. We need to keep air out at the bottom, so I set it in sand to seal it and then started a little fire inside. I'm burning workshop scraps, so they're all fairly dry. Cone kilns work by covering up the burning wood with more burning wood. The stuff at the bottom doesn't get enough oxygen to burn properly, but it still cooks away, turning into charcoal. And the process relies on a steady fall of wood, and that's best achieved by using short, thin pieces of fuel. Of course, in the meantime, you get to sit by the fire on a winter's night. What could be nicer? It is nearly ready for water. But actually, it's, a, it's a lovely stage, isn't it? It's shaming. It is. You get all the, this is the perfect heat out of it and everything. It looks similar to a fire pit, but there's an important difference. Fire pits have ventilation holes in them, the sides or the bottom, but cone kilns, like this one, mustn't have any ventilation hole and they only use the air that comes in over the top edges. If we left this alone it would slowly all turn to ash because enough air would have get down even to the bottom eventually, but we want charcoal so it's time to stop the burning and the cooking process. You could do that with some sort of airtight lid or heaping earth on top, but we're using water. Not only does water stop the burning and the cooking process completely and instantly, it also fractures the charcoal structure. That's not a good thing if you want to use your charcoal for drawing with or for cooking on, but it's essential if your aim is for biochar, which is what we're after. So then I made a bigger one. Because why not? This is 3mm thick steel cut beautifully on the CNC plasma machine. This time I included the bottom plate in the design. I had thought it would be good to leave a hole for drainage, but actually keeping the air out is far more important. And tacked it together and then welded the seams, which took a few welding rods.
This one is about two feet across, which holds maybe four times the volume of the first one. And that one worked fine too. Although the first time we tried it, we were rained off and we had to stop early. Lots of lovely charcoal from a heap of soggy, half rotten hitching material. So guess what I did next? <laughs> of course, I made a bigger one. Of course I did. <laughs> this one is made from a four foot square of four millimeter steel. It's the biggest I can make in one piece on my machine. It's big, but it's exactly the same shape as the piece of paper in the beginning. The dimensions are bigger, but the proportions are exactly the same. The fuel we were using, as I say, really couldn't be wetter, so it wasn't an efficient burn at all. But that doesn't matter if the material is free, whatever you get is a bonus. We had to clear the field anyway, and clear it quick before the birds start nesting. All in all, I'm really pleased with this method. So I cut another full size cone out and our friend Peter welded it together far more expertly than I could. And it's for sale if you're interested, but you'll have to come and collect it. And it's not cheap because there's quite a bit of steel and time involved in it. 
Actually, all three sizes could be available if you're interested. And here we are with lots of charcoal to play with. What could be better? 